Hi guys, my name is Christine and I will be with you for today's session. It's lovely to be here. I'm live from Gloucester and we're getting another freeze, uh, freezing week, it seems. Um, it's gone down, gone down again. Um, so guys, today's question is why do people procrastinate? So I'm looking forward to hearing um, what your what your opinions are, what your thoughts about this are, maybe if you procrastinate and why do you procrastinate and uh, what can you do to stop yourself from doing this thing. Um, so let's start off with, uh, Arush, are you here? Arush? No? Okay, so Arush is not here. Let's start off with Ananya. Ananya, can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day, and then move on to today's question. Yes, Christine. Hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Ananya, and I'm currently pursuing my MBA from Five Business School, Hyderabad. Currently, my holidays are going on, and uh, I'm busy with my family. That's it. Uh, also, enjoying my last few days at home because uh, tomorrow I'll be starting from here uh, to Kolkata. That's another city where my internship is going to be there. So, yeah, just packing stuffs and all, feeling very sad right now. Okay. And uh, what... Um, uh... What what are you going to do? So now now you're fe you're feeling sad. Um, how are you going to? Do you think I you're don't know manage like, or? Yes, Christine. I feel like uh, this is the moment uh, which I always have faced uh, since the beginning uh, because I was in a boarding school. So yeah, it is a moment where whenever I used to leave home, I used to be like this. I'm just silent. I don't talk to anyone. I just feel so sad you know, within. So yeah, I don't want to sh share my sadness with somebody else uh, like my mom or my brother. But yeah, uh, I'm just inside it's feeling that way. Okay, very good. Um, thank you for answering that for us. Thank you. Um, so why do you, why do you think people procrastinate? I think uh, I'll talk in general uh, for people those who uh, those who I have seen in my life uh, they really procrastinate just because uh, it's kind of an avoidance and uh, they think that they'll be able to do that work later on but uh, that doesn't uh, work out all the time because yes there are some people those who procrastinate for a time being and later on they carry on the work and do the work uh, maybe not at that particular time but at least they complete the work but there are so many people I have seen in my life that uh, they do not uh, you know they procrastinate and uh, they do not complete their work so it has become uh, the work gets piled up and it bottles up so much that uh, in the later stage they do not really find any specific uh, time to complete all the work at a time so that's the problem otherwise I think uh, uh, other than avoidance I think uh, it's uh, negligence would count under avoidance only right so it's just neglecting the work and not feeling to do like uh, and uh, you know feeling lazy uh, feeling lethargic not to get up and do the stuff uh, in time I think that is the reason otherwise uh, you know at a high rate I do not know really but I do not procrastinate so I uh, I try to put up my work as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Also, I do not keep the work for tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. So I feel like uh, that's my ethic that I do not uh, keep the work for tomorrow. It's uh, he uh, here and now and I'll do it now itself. So yeah, so I think that has helped me uh, so much to grow personally as well as professionally. So yeah. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much, Ananya. Thank you so much, Christine. You're welcome. Um, next, we'll move on to Shivangi. Hi, Shivangi. Hello, Christine. Good evening. Good evening. So, Shivangi, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Okay, so my name is Shivangi Raj. I'm currently pursuing my uh, under post graduation from X5 Business School, Hyderabad. And uh, currently I'm uh, outside uh, doing some shopping and all for uh, because I have to travel day after tomorrow. So that's why I was in, uh, you know, uh, uh, in mall right now. So I just uh, wanted to join this meeting. So uh, I'll come to the topic. So why do people procrastinate? From my point of view, I think they uh, have lack of confidence or uh, they are not uh, 
that much confident about their self that they can do that particular work and uh, they try to keep delaying it so that they can get rid of it but uh, i think they should uh, you know go for that uh, particular task because after performing that task they will get to know about the, what was the task really about and if they were uh, you know able to perform it or not whether you are lacking in confident or your uh, confidence or you are not feeling that you cannot perform that task or you feel lazy or there are many other reasons that uh, people procrastinate but from my point of view i think that they should perform that particular task in order to get uh, what is the task is all about and to be more confident uh, for the next time so that they can perform it uh, well next time Okay, very good. And what about like, do, do you yourself feel that you procrastinate at times? Yeah, I used to, but now I don't because uh, I'm habitual to it. Now I got to know that uh, no matter whatever the task is given, I'm confident about myself that I can do it. Uh, earlier, I used to because I was very, uh, you know, the not that much confident about myself okay, whether I, I will be able to do that particular task or not. But after getting... Uh, a uh, different kind of experience now i'm confident enough to do whatever task that is allotted to me in the particular time excellent very good thank you very much shivangi thank you okay next we have rupal hi rupal hi christine good evening everyone good evening um so rupal can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day first yeah so I'm Rupal. I'm currently pursuing my post-graduation in MBA from Ikhfai Business School, Hyderabad. Since I'm at home, currently I had a pretty chill kind of day. I slept in throughout the day and now I'm awake, awake for the session. Mm -hmm. Moving on to today's topic, there can be a number of reasons as to why people procrastinate. In general, it can be because the person is either indifferent towards the end result of the task or maybe because he or she does not know the consequence of procrastinating the particular task or because it has become their casual habit to procrastinate even though they are well aware of the consequences that follow. Sometimes we procrastinate because uh, we know that the journey isn't going to be an easy one so we simply try not to face it. Other reasons can be certain distractions, poor time management or maybe because of the fear of failure. So that okay. Thing. And do you feel you procrastinate? Uh, I used to, but so ever since I entered this MBA, uh, MBA life, I think MBA has taught us how at, actually it has imposed on us uh, certain things that we can't procrastinate. So I think I've learned a lot and I can say that I do not procrastinate anymore. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And uh, what what tips or advice would you give to someone to help them to get out of their procrastinating phase? I would say if, uh, if the task which they are facing, if, they, if the task that is due is a big one, they should take a sing single step at a time, take a few, break down the task into smaller ones, then perform the task uh, stepwise, or maybe they can reward themselves throughout the journey, themselves throughout the journey, so as to be um, driven by the reward that they will be getting after completing a particular task. So I think there are there are certain things that can be done to avoid procrastination. Excellent, very good, very good. Um, and Ananya, um, what about you? Would you give us any any tips for those of us who procrastinate? What tips would you give us? I think, uh, you know, whenever the task is given, instead of just piling it up, uh, do it there itself, because I think it will save a lot of time. You do not have to procrastinate. The word doesn't come in picture. You just have to do the work as soon as possible. I think that will uh, literally uh, spare your uh, mood also. And you will feel energetic after that, that, you know, I have accomplished something. I have done my work at, uh, in time. And that will also encourage you to do something better in the near future if something is given you they people have known and also in the corporate life it is uh, really important because um, you know whenever some task is given the manager knows that you are doing the task in time and uh, you'll always be in the top priority list so yeah in every possible way it's there excellent thank you very much Ananya 
And Shivangi, are you still with us? Shivangi? No, we've missed Shivangi. Okay, um, so let's move on to Swarnali. Hi, Swarnali. Hi, Christine. Hi, Swarnali. Can you please introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about your day, and then you can move on to today's question. Okay, hi, this is Swarnali, right now working as an operations in LWT Academy. And uh, I have done my Indian human resources, and I have seven years of work experience. And uh, like the, today's day, I can say the same day for me, like juggling between my four years old son and uh, my work. And uh, like, like this is my day. And coming to the topic, uh, like procrastination. So I uh, think people do procrastinate in work as well as in their uh, like uh, their social life or in their personal lives because uh, some firstly confidence, confidence, lack of confidence, you can say. Or like you can say again, uh, like they have a habit. Some people have a habit of procrastination. They are like both in work life and uh, family life. Uh, this is a habit for people. Secondly, they like thirdly, they are uh, like uh, they always think that at the end of the moment I will do the work, and they procrastinate that and uh, like fails. At last, they fail to do the work. So that's all. And so in your life, can you give us uh, an example of a time where you procrastinated and, and what you did to get out? Uh, and like in early life, uh, like early when I was doing my job, I sometimes I used to procrastinate, but like it was a very, uh, like, yeah, but soon I realized that it, it will not do. So I need to do the work on time. And uh, I used to do that. That and from last past six years or seven years, you can say I never procrastinated according to my work or in my family life because I need to manage both. I need to make a um, work-life balance. So uh, procrastination is not a solution for that. Doing the work on time is the only key to success. Okay. Thank you very much, Swarnali. Thank you, Christine. Okay, next we have Siddhak Jot. Hi, Siddhak Jot. Uh, yeah. Hi, ma'am. Hello, hi. Can you please introduce yourself, tell us a bit about your day, and then you can move on to today's question. Okay, uh, so my name is Siddhagjit Singh Isa. I am in class six. I study in St. Joseph Convent High Secondary School. I am from Sambalpur, Odisha, and my hobbies are drawing and dancing. And uh, currently my final exams are over and my holidays are going on. And today I had gone for cycling in the morning and uh, prepared for my uh, school quiz and uh, just played with my friends. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, so Siddhak Chod, can you tell me, uh, why do people procrastinate? Uh, the reasons behind procrastination depends on person to person. Uh, one of the most important reason is the fear of failure. And uh, it is in the human nature to avoid and uh, fear failure. Another reason is uh, lack of focus and determination. Sometimes the lack of goals and objectives is also the reason. And uh, all of these reasons leads to negative consequences, uh, which in return uh, affect our career, studies, health, etc., etc. Okay. And do you ever procrastinate? Uh, yes, sometimes I procrastinate, but now I understand uh, the negative uh, consequences that it can affect my studies. Okay, and uh, can you um, can you give us some tips? What tips would you give us for to to not procrastinate? Like earlier, I procrastinate that uh, I will study like. Uh, I will study tomorrow, so then I just understand it can affect my studies and uh, my results. So then I just thought it, and uh, it is very useful that if you not procrastinate and uh, yet uh, it will not also affect uh, of your career and studies. Okay, so th the tip is to think about what how it affects your future. Oh uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, so we 
we we we lost we lost a few students here because of connections. Um, but um, those of you who are still here with us, um, I'd like you now to think of a time where you've procrastinated on something. But I'd, I'd like you to think of a specific time where you've procrastinated and knowing that you've procrastinated, um, it has helped you now in, in, in this present time. So the, the procrastination really that taught you a lesson, what was that procrastinating event that taught you the lesson for the, for this, for, for the now, for the future? Um, so uh, I think Ananya has one. <laughs> she, re <laughs> she remembers clearly which one it was. Um, so let's start off with Ananya. Yes, Christine. I think uh, there was a time when uh, uh, two or three assignments were given at a time and it was not in my post-graduation. It was my undergra uh, undergraduate degree. And during that time, uh, two to three assignments were given and uh, I, I was working on a novel also. So um, I think uh, that particular time I just figured out uh, that which one is really important for me, which one is urgent, uh, which could be done uh, right now and which could be a little, you know, we can delay something. So yes, uh, two assignments, uh, there were um, dates were a little further than uh, the other one. The novel has to uh, ha had to be submitted the next day I was working on and uh, it was a few pages left and the later on uh, the research papers and all the um, assignments which were given, that was to be submitted uh, around uh, two to three days later. So I think uh, that was not a kind of a procrastination, but yes, I could have finished it, but I thought, okay, let's finish this uh, novel for um, at least one or two hours. Uh, let's write something good and just paste it in and just give it tomorrow. And uh, I could have, I was left with so much of time, but I didn't work out for the next uh, assignment. So yes, that time I realized that I procrastinated, which uh, really didn't turn out good because uh, at a time I got uh, three assignments piled up and it was really difficult for me to complete. Uh, however, I tried it, I did it and I took help from my friends and peers and I just completed it and I submitted it. I, could, uh, I, I also scored good. But I think from that day, it's not from that day. I think from the beginning, I have that um, OCD kind of a thing that, you know, the work should be done at a particular time. It shouldn't be delayed. So, yes, I tried and I tested it. I failed so many times, but uh, here I am. Uh, I do not really procrastinate things now. And I have really grown into a um, superwoman right now because uh, you <laughs> know, I, I'm doing things. I'm doing things on my own. I'm realizing my uh, mistakes. I am, um, you know, trying to figure out what can I do to just rectify it. So yes, I have learned so many things. Excellent. But uh, from the from the mistake I have learned from the mistake of procrastinating. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Well, th that's in a way that's good because it is our mistakes that teach us. And as long as you learn. Yes, from definitely. Mistakes. I think it's just the reinforcement you uh, learn from all the mistakes you do. So, yes, I think that's the reinforcement learning for me. Fantastic. Um, and Ananya, do you have any comments on anything that anyone has said, anything that maybe you agreed, agreed, you agreed with, you didn't agree with, resonated with you? Yes, I think many of uh, them have already said that, you know, uh, the lack of confidence uh, is a matter. Uh, I think I agree with them because uh, so many times when a task is given, you just procrastinate it because you think that you are not capable uh, capable enough to do it. So I think that shouldn't come in because uh, unless you try something new, you couldn't figure out if you are capable or not. So I think, yes, the lack of confidence might be a reason. Also, the lack of motivation that oh, why should I even do it? Uh, what is it going to, um, you know, bring good to me? So I think that lack of motivation can also be a reason. So I agree with all of them, those who have said la lack of confidence and lack of motivation. I think that makes clear sense why people really do procrastinate. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Ananya. So okay, next we have Swanali. Swanali, do you do you remember the that procrastinating moment where you were like, oh, I need to change my ways? Yes, in my school days, or uh, like it's, I always fear about maths. So I always run from maths that I will not do, or I used to procrastinate that. But when I was in my ninth standard, suddenly I like I was scoring well and I was doing that. 
so but i suddenly i have an interest on that and uh, like uh, i have grown i have an interest of grown and uh, i was not focusing and i was not running from that so i i don't think running from a job or any like uh, anything you are asked to might be household core or it might be in professional life it is not a solution the solution is you need to do the work and with confidence you need to build the confidence on yourself okay. okay thank you very much swanali thank you christian and uh, dr jot what about you was there one thing that you really that really taught you a lesson not to procrastinate uh yes ma'am like uh, in in class 5 uh, because of covid uh, our online classes are going on so our ma'am has given us to uh, some notes of to write on our copies so uh, like i have not written in my copy that uh, i will i just procrastinated that i will do tomorrow and uh, but ma'am has told that uh, we have to some like submit our copy in school uh, just tomorrow so i just uh, like i just take two hours for writing the whole uh, whole two chapters and uh, just give, submitted my copy on that day mm -hmm. and from that day i just learned that uh, this can get negative consequences and uh, it can just uh... okay thank you very much dr jot okay so what i'd like you to do now is to think of it I, i some of you have told me kind of where where you think procrastination comes from um but my next question delves a bit deeper and maybe maybe it's uh you know it you, you tell me no to this question but th that's absolutely fine i just want to know your opinion what do you think do you think procrastination is linked to any other mental illness or any other mental situation so do you think it's related to depression do you think it's related or is it always the case that it's related to depression uh do you think there's something underlying basically is what i'm asking um so ananya what are your thoughts about this topic yes christine i agree with you i do not really disagree with you because i think uh, many people procrastinate because of depression they feel like they'll be doing things uh, okay whenever they feel okay but depression is not that easy depression really you know it um, eats you up uh, mentally as well as physically so you do not really feel like getting up and doing uh, not even today not even tomorrow or not even any day because uh, depression is same every day you um, unless you know it's depression you cannot heal from it so i think yes it is the reason why uh, people really do procrastinate and they feel like uh, they might feel okay tomorrow and they might do the work but they do not do it because it's a long term process you do not really realize what is the thing which is going to happen i think that is also the reason why people get into anxiety and guilt that you know i should i could have done it in the first go itself but i didn't do it so i think that guilt comes in between and it just um, uh, what do you say elevates your you know guilt and it elevates your depression that uh, i could have done it and i didn't do it and now everything has become more worse so it uh, the condition is worsen up and i couldn't help it so yeah it leads to more depression and also depression could be the reason and dep uh, depression you know this uh, procrastination could be also the reason why depression is ca um, being caused so yes so it's kind of vice versa which, vice versa it's kind of which comes first is it the chicken or, or the yes. egg situation yes definitely definitely i agree with that okay and swanali what do you think uh yes question i agree with you that uh, like procrastination is one of the reason of depression because uh, i like i myself has uh, gone through it so but, like panic attack is one thing which i have also gone through it and when the, uh, a person in depression or anxiety going through panic attack or uh, like feeling panic to do that work so that is like it is not possible in that mental condition to work or to do that work 
so which person have a mental illness you can't uh, like nowadays like might be 50% of the people are having mental illness and were half of them are being treated so i always been uh, like uh, been there for that uh, mental illness or depression is an uh, important thing to like uh, for procrastination and according to anana like the same thing like vice versa procrastination also can lead to depression and uh, like confidence lack of confidence is another cause like uh, people go go for procrastination and uh, which can cause depression also like depression uh, cause uh, causes uh, when depression causes that the confidence also lags and panic decreases uh, it panic increases and anxiety also increases so procrastination will come so i totally agree with you and do you feel like it's in any way procrastination has been also linked to social media the increase in, in technology yes technology is one of the uh, like like see yeah, social media is one of the thing it has a good effect and bad effect bad effect is you spend much more time in social media while not working uh, that is a major reason like uh, you will spend hours in social media like they will uh, they were, like they are eat up your time and uh, like procrastination will happen it is a very important point that okay. was and did you judge what's your opinion about this um, ma'am ma i don't know much about this because like uh, I, i know it's a difficult part for you <laughs> bless you yes ma'am did you have any thoughts about what the other um what other people have said right now what anani and swanali have said do you do, do you agree do you have maybe a different opinion or a different thought uh yes i agree with uh, swanali because uh, that social media because of social media we just uh, procrastinate but mm -hmm. i don't think so about uh, any other thoughts like okay okay that's fine and do you find yourself procrastinating specifically because of social media uh sometimes yes ma'am sometimes okay okay good okay thank you very much sidak jot and uh ananya the last question to you what about social media what's your what's your take on it uh yes i completely agree with that also because uh, whenever like uh, nowadays our generation has uh, become so much indulged in social media that they feel like okay i'll do the work later on let's uh, you know uh, come and see the reels first or let's make some videos and post it on so social media or let's go outside let's uh, show people that we have gone there and we have had a really sumptuous uh, meal there so i think yes uh, that uh, this has become uh, a habit uh, for all the people most of the people and especially the teenagers for that uh, they usually avoid doing things which could be done earlier as well so i think yes i would agree that social media also affects a lot when it comes to estimation excellent thank question. you very much hello question yeah question i want to add one thing our yes. generation is an uh, our generation is an uh, unhappy uh, like unhappy generation with an uh, like happy pictures so this is the effect of social media absolutely thank you very much swanali yeah. okay guys well i think that was Uh, a very interesting session we had there we started off with why people procrastinate but then moved on to social media we've moved on to mental health um uh, we, we've also given tips on how to stop procrastination and look towards your own personal experiences so we really went all around um the questions there so thank you very much for joining guys and uh i look forward to seeing you tomorrow and maybe seeing some of you later thank you guys thank you so much christine Bye bye